Hello, thanks for watching Super 3 Boys first Blender tutorial. This is an intro to a series of tutorials on Blender that I will be making in coming months. You can go to nistic.com to download these tutorials and find answers to any of your questions. Let's begin. First, let's open up Blender if you have not already. When you open up Blender, you should see a square in the middle of the screen. We will discuss this in a second. First, we're going to learn about views. This will be helpful to anyone who is not familiar with navigating around Blender. If you already have some experience with Blender and you know how to navigate, you can just skip this. Let's start first by selecting View in the bottom left hand corner. When I open this, several options appear. By default, top is selected when Blender is open. So basically, we're just looking at this object from a top view. If I was to select front, I would get a front view of the object. If I was to select side, I get a side view of the object. Notice something? This is not just a square, it's a cube. By holding down Alt and clicking my left mouse button, I can do a free rotate which combines the front, side, and top view to get a custom view. And see if I put my mouse more to the right and to the left and up and see under. Down I can see the top. So let's just go back to the top view now. Now that we know a little bit about the environment we're working in, let's do some modeling. Like I said before, this cube is an object. An object in Blender can be moved, duplicated, colored, and the list goes on. I am going to show you three important tools that a lot of modelers use in Blender. The first one I'm going to show you is the Grab tool. If I hit G, which I just hit, I can move an object up, down, to the left, or to the right. And if I was in a side view, I can move it forward or backward. Now I'm just going to hit on Do and show you the next tool. The next tool is the Size tool. By hitting S, I can make an object bigger or smaller. And I'm also going to do an undo. The last tool I'll show you is the rotate tool. By hitting R, I can rotate an object left or right. And I'll just go back. Now let's make a simple man to demonstrate what we have learned. First, we're going to start by going into front view. As you can see, we have our cube in the middle. Now I'm going to use the size key by hitting S. And I'm going to make this smaller by dragging inward. And then I'm going to click again with my left mouse button. The next thing I'm going to do is hit Shift D. Earlier, 
I said you could duplicate objects, and this is exactly how you do that. Just hit Shift D, and it makes a copy of that object, and automatically uses the grab tool. So I'll, I'm going to place that about a centimeter from the, the other block. Now, I can use this tool several times to make somewhat of a leg for this person that we're going to make. So continue to duplicate these cubes. About three times should be good. Whoops. So now I have two legs made of, out of cubes. Now I'm going to duplicate that cube again and put it in the middle. Then I'm going to hit the size key, which is S. Make it a little bit bigger for the body. It seems to be overlapping the legs, so I'm going to move it up a little. Again, I'm going to hit Shift D, move it over, hit the S key, make it smaller. Hit the G key, put it over next to the body. Do another duplicate. Put it over to the side. Now I have a small hand. With those same blocks, I can duplicate and move over to the right side. Duplicate. Right next to the other part of the arm. And the last part, I'm going to duplicate, put on the top, rotate a bit with the R key, and there I have it. A uh, really weird looking person. Remember to visit Nistic.com to see the next tutorial in the series. The Blender tutorials are located in the left top hand corner under the tutorial link. From there, you can download any of the tutorials from my series. Thanks for watching. Bye.